first of all, thanks for all your positive feedback for the last two videos. We are working hard to put up more CFA mnemonic shortcuts to share with you. This time around, we will talk about scale of measurements in level one. It is an easy topic, uh, but commonly tested in exam. So we want to make sure you get this low hanging fruit right. Okay, let's just jump right into the topic. There are four levels of measurement. Here we are showing it in a step up type of table to help you visualize it. Starting from the top is the weakest and the bottom is the strongest. You can think about it um, to the extent that the bottom needs to be the, the strongest to have a solid foundation. So the weakest one on the top is nominal. Nominal data is only names or labels to various categories which cannot be quantified and have no order. So an easy way to memorize this is think about nominal only have names and they both share the same first letter which is N. So names, nominal, names, nominal is very easy to associate here. Examples can be gender, uh, like male or female, or flavor, like um, vanilla or chocolate, or different type of group, or different colors. Now moving on to the next level, ordinal. Ordinal data, um, you can just simply associate with ordered. So order, ordinal, uh, this sounds pretty similar right and then uh, that's actually only additional attributes that it has over nominal uh, the example for this will be like movie rating movie a has four stars and movie b has two stars but you cannot uh, you know it's just an order it cannot be compared in a way that uh, movie a is two times better than movie b because it has four star versus two stars. So um, it's similar to nominal. It cannot be subtract or added. Uh, it cannot be quantified in this way. Now, next one down the table is interval. You can think about it by its name. It is measured by interval. A typical example of this would be the temperature. 50 degrees is more than 10 degrees. You can compare the 50 degrees to 10 degrees is 40 degrees hotter than 10 degrees, but it's not necessary to be five times hotter because for interval, there's no meaningful zero here as well. What that means is zero degree is not no temperature. It's just an number representing the degree of temperature here. Finally, we have ratio. Ratio is the highest level of the measurement scale. Mm, it has all the characteristics of interval, but it also has a meaningful zero. So the easiest way to memorize this would be zero. You think about a meaningful zero, then that's the ratio measurement. Well, what kind of example that we have got for this? Example for ratio is everything, basically. Then you have got like, um, distance, age, money, yeah, you name it. Now you have understand all the four levels of measurement. Let's take a look at the mnemonic. If you take the first letter of this measurement, you've got N-O-I-R, which is actually a word in French, which means dark or black. For example, no chocolate, which is uh, dark chocolate in French. Um, we also have um, film noir, which is a, a type of a movie that is dark and moody. To help you memorize, we have a mnemonic picture here, like before. Uh, we have a dark chocolate placed on a scale. So you can associate the scale as a scale of measurement. And the dark chocolate helps you memorize the keyword noir. With this picture, it's actually very hard to, you know, forget it in the exam and get it wrong.